Everything here at Gymshark has changed. The business has been flipped on its head. Everyone's working from home and we need to reconsider every single thing that we do. We've made the decision we're not going to be furloughing any staff that we have. We're going to weather the storm. Denver's been delayed. This is one of the things I'm really heartbroken about at the moment. Having people that disagree with you around you is extremely important. Times like this, we need to do what's best for the wider population. First things first, I'm going to go and get a coffee. I've actually started drinking coffee since I've been working at home, and it gives me a little bit of a kickstart to the day, so I now understand why everyone has coffee in the morning. <laughs> This little guy has absolutely kept me sane. Just being able to chill with him in the week as well whilst I'm working is very, very helpful to my mental state. I'll tell you that for nothing. So anyone that has a dog will know just how much of a difference dogs make. And he doesn't moan as well, which is quite nice. He's just a very happy, simple little fella. Paul. Good boy. Good morning. So I've now got my coffee and we're about to start the working day. So hopefully I can give you guys a little bit of insight of what it's like running Gymshark, a 400 staff, $300 million revenue business from home during the COVID-19 pandemic. So today we're gonna to have a full day in the life with me video. I'll talk you through the things that I find good, uh, helpful, useful, and some of the things that I really struggle with working from home. So. First and foremost, this is my home office. I'm extremely fortunate to have this. I really think that your setup will really have a big impact on how much you essentially enjoy working from home. So this is my setup. I run off my laptop and my iPad. Here I'll have my Things app, which is everything that I need to do on that particular day. And then on the right, I'll have my calendar, which is obviously all the different meetings that I've got that day. And then here I'll obviously run on my laptop. Here I'll be looking at a spreadsheet in terms of essentially making sure that all of our revenues and spends are going okay, having a look at how ads are performing. From 7 a.m. people are normally online, so I'll be chatting to people as well, catching up with things to do that I can do, catching up with emails, and essentially just trying to start the day on as clean a slate as possible. Something that's really helping me at the moment is just maintaining a consistent schedule. So still getting up at 6 a.m. every day, exactly the same breakfast every single morning, just getting in home workouts as well. Obviously constant calls with my family as well helps a lot. My mom works in the NHS, so she works at the QE in Birmingham and I'm concerned about her, so she's keeping me in the loop as well. At 9 a.m. every day, we've been having what uh, the Gymshark board have been calling our COBRA meeting. In times of emergency and crisis such as this, the, the government has a what they call a Cobra meeting. So we've sort of stolen that name. And essentially what we do in that is we do daily updates on just what's going on in the business since coronavirus began. I'm gonna crack on with my list of things to do and then we're gonna jump into the Cobra meeting. This is my playlist that I've been listening to. So massive, massive Cheryl Crow fan. Yeah. I'm more into sort of like old school music, I would say, sort of. And I've got something that I would like to show you guys. So we've got some initial designs for what the Denver office will look like. And I'm telling you now, this place looks absolutely amazing. So if you look here, this is the entry. We've got the entire floor of this building in Colorado. It's in downtown Denver. And, and this looks out over the Rocky Mountains. So the, the view will be just gorgeous so you come in what i just showed you you turn right and this is what you'll see and this is the denver version of refuel and then we've got a cinema over here a little kitchen area to the right and this is one of the things that i'm really sort of heartbroken about at the moment is the fact that this will unfortunately be delayed this is the boardroom just look at that hopefully we can get moving with this sooner rather than later because this is something i'm really excited about so yeah uh, unfortunately denver's been delayed which is far from ideal but it's the right thing to do given the circumstances now we're going to jump into the cobra call there are decades when nothing happens and there are weeks when decades happen I thought that sounds a bit like what we're doing at the moment, doesn't it? Morning Cobra meeting done. It went well. Everything's going good at the moment. So we're in a good position at Gymshark because of our business model and because of the position that we've put ourselves in where we can continue to support our staff throughout this. So we've made the decision and we've been through it in our Cobra meeting today that we're not going to be furloughing any staff that we have. But this is something that I'm incredibly proud of. We're going to continue to pay them through the business. We're going to weather the storm, which is just a an amazing decision it was a decision that was led by Dave and it's one that to me makes total sense we can do it we we don't want to put 
extra unnecessary pressure on the government. We want to you know, manage this and weather this storm as best we possibly can. And that's what we're absolutely going to be doing here at Jim Sharks. So Cobra done. I've got a weekly media meeting now. So we'll jump in with all the media department. Good morning, media. Good morning. Good morning. First on the agenda is a top line overview of commercial performance from Jan. So just finished the media catch-up meeting. It went incredibly well. I was very, very happy. Um, 10 to 11, I've got 10 minutes, then I've got to catch up with Joe, who's head of our customer support. So in terms of keeping fit, there's two things that I've been doing. I've been lifting from home, I've been doing home workouts, but I've also been doing runs. About a year and a half ago, I think, me and Robin converted our garage at home into a home gym. So there's a couple of heaters in there, so I'm just gonna go and flick the heaters on in the gym. Via the dog, cat comes and says hello. And here we go. So yeah, we did this out probably a year and a half ago. We were really looked after by Wolverson and Watson and Aleko as well massively helped us out with sort of like the bars and whatnot. Got the row machine, got a load of dumbbells, squat rack, amazing Texas deadlift bar. David Lade and the lads introduced me to a Texas deadlift bar and it has absolutely changed my life. I've got the cable machine, so that's obviously great. This is really useful because I can do both sort of pulls, but then I can also do like pull downs and then hamstring machine and quads and then decline. And I've got a couple of benches here as well. So like this was a great investment anyway, but particularly at a time like this, it was, it's just, completely been game changing so yeah flick the heating on and then go and crack on and do a catch a meeting with joe a little fun fact about that gym when we first did it out we actually did a photo shoot in there with david and this image came from it that image is in fact from the garage gym when we just finished it so so yeah we're going to meet joe now check out on customer support joe is actually my brother funnily enough and he was the first person to join the business he was considering going to uni but he didn't really know what he wanted to do i i just said to him listen don't go to uni yet see, see how you feel in a year come and work for gymshark for a bit and you know what? whatever happens happens whatever comes of it we'll we'll see and he has just never left yeah extremely good at what he does and, and that customer support team they're industry leading so yeah have a catch-up call with him and then we will probably look at grabbing some lunch so george as well george just invited me we're having a uk australia zoom meetup what the have hell have i landed into the there he is there he is <laughs> What do you guys call when you're going in like an inspection? Like a viewing, not an inspection, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a viewing. Yeah, viewing, sorry. Right, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> inspection, like you're crawling around in the rock nation with an expanded So that was a really nice little catch up with the, well, some of the UK athletes and Australian athletes. Everyone's going good, nice little catch up. Now we're going to head over and eat some lunch. <laughs> Quickly grab some lunch with Robin and then crack on with the day. It is now one o'clock, had lunch, feeling good, ready for a busy uh, and productive afternoon. Before I jump into this meeting, I'll just show you a few random things we've got around here. So this book, right, it's focusing all around simplicity of design, generally of sort of household appliances and stuff. Incredible, look, here you go, look, that's so Apple-like, isn't it, this? Look at that. So this is, a really cool book. Jordan Peterson, 12 Rules for Life, very cool book. God, so I'm currently reading this at the moment. And I think it's a lot around how having people that disagree with you around you is extremely important. This is also an extremely cool book. Extreme Ownership, and this is actually what's sort of inspired me to start running. This is probably my favorite book I've ever read. When I started reading this, I just thought it would be very finance-based, essentially, and just thinking about how to invest in companies, but there is a part in this, I can't remember exactly where it is, where in one page he breaks down the entire success of the Coca-Cola company, which I've never read such a succinct analysis of a company in the way that it, I've just never read anything like it. It's incredibly cool. It's a lot of the principles that he applies to the way that he invests are very similar to the principles that we apply into some of the creative elements of Gymshark. So I found that incredibly interesting. Oh yeah, quarter past one, about 15 minutes until the next meetings. So I think this is particularly important when we're thinking about kind of our touch points. So this is an insight presentation which is being done to the whole of the business. We've gone out looking to understand the problems that our consumers and our community are facing at the moment in terms of Gymshark remaining agile. This is massive and I think the vast majority of the business are currently watching this. 
So I talk a lot about the art and science of Gymshark. This is a live example of the art and science. Like people see a social post. So we did a social post the other day, a home shop post that was the most liked post that we have ever had on Instagram. And a lot of what Gymshark does from a social perspective can look like it's either, it's just impulsive and there's no planning to it, but believe me, the, the art and the science that we're building at Gymshark is just absolutely outstanding. And it's the information that's fed to the creative teams that allows us to do some of the incredible creative things that we do do. All encompassing approach, recognising that it's just... I've got 10 minutes, I thought I'd show you this. This is like a bag of like original products. So this is one of the original Lux t-shirts. So this is one of the first t-shirts Gymshark ever made. This is where some of the original long, long and tapered fits came from. This is one of the first seamlesses we ever did. This is going back a while now. This must be a good four or five years old now. I've got one of the first ever screen printed Gymshark products and this will be 2012-2013. So this, which is probably the most special thing in my office and probably that I own as well. This is one of the original Gymshark screens. It's seven years ago now, probably six or seven years ago this. Spent a good year at least just non-stop hand printing products. I've got some random stuff. So I've got a couple of awards here that I was given in Birmingham, which is quite cool, really cool to have. Uh, Fast Track 100, which is like one of the first awards we had and it's crazy. I've got a notepad from the New York Stock Exchange when we were able to go there and ring the bell. And this bad boy before I reach the 100,000 subs on YouTube. Oh, and that was the original letter I had to sit on the business advisory board to Downing Street. So that's super cool as well. I'm very, very proud of that. Just been catching up on Slack with Orm, who runs all of our operations. So we work with two different distribution partners in the world. Radial and Blackman have been working extremely hard. And to be honest, I'm, this is something that I'm actually really proud of that we've managed to do is working alongside companies such as Blackman and Radial. We have led the way in terms of safety and distribution centers. Safety is, you know, the most important thing. And so yeah, all credit to Blackman and Radial for absolutely leading the way in terms of distribution center safety uh, around the world. Genuinely, they've been absolutely brilliant. So that is the end of the working day here at Gymshark, working from home. This is pretty much what every day looks like, working from home in the coronavirus pandemic. Now I'm gonna head out for a quick run. I started running, which again, I wanna try and get as many positives out of this sort of experience as possible. So running is something I'm, I'm, I've started now. One of the benefits of getting a little bit more into running is I'm able to test more of the cardio fixed Gymshark products. So yeah, go for a little jog around the block. This is me post run, just on 5K. Absolutely destroyed, but glad I got it in. Oh, I'm going to go in and chill for 10. So run is done. Got a few more bits that I just need to pick up on. A few bits on my list of things to do. But there's a few articles that are going live, which I need to comment on. Hi, right, mate. Just got your email. How are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. So that is this week pretty much done. The, the thing is we're doing a, sort of a day in the life. It's really difficult because one at the moment, every meeting looks exactly the same and I think things can look extremely boring. Every day is actually very different in terms of the actual tangible work that I'm doing because one minute it could be working on future product projects, one minute it could be deep into the market and sort of stuff and one minute we maybe we're, we're looking further ahead in how we're going to tackle this um, coronavirus pandemic from a, an overall business point of view. So. It's a, it's a really odd experience, but again, hopefully this has been informative. Hopefully it has helped you guys somewhat and it's given you a little bit of an insight of what it is like being in my position at Gymshark at the moment. The thing I wanna finish on, stay at home. It's so, so, so important that everyone is staying at home. This whole social distancing thing, it does not work if people essentially don't abide by the rules. So at times like this, listen to your government. I think we all just need to do as we're told and we need to do what's best for the wider population. And yeah, if there's anything else that you want to see on this YouTube channel, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you so, so, so much for watching. And please, everyone, stay safe.